What is up everybody, this is Omega Belmong and welcome back to some more The Good Old Days with me, of course, Omega Belmong. Today, today, I am talking about one of my, it's very, it's, it's really one of my first PS2 games. Uh, it's, it's called Kango, the Master of Bushido, I think that's, that's what it's called. Uh, it's a PS2 game early on PS2 game, uh, it's back when the PS2 discs were still blue, uh, before they went to the normal, normal DVD, this was like the CD kind of era, I guess you want to say, but this is back when, old times, when the discs were still blue, and they were, you were like, whoa, those are awesome discs, I wonder what they did, but well, they were just normal discs, other than the cool colors, but anyways, uh, Kango, I think this game got like two sequels after this one. I think so, maybe. I think they came out for like the Xbox 360, but uh, those are a little bit different from this one. At least the one I played on the Xbox 360 was totally different from this one. Anyways, uh, this is a really, it's a hard game and it's tough and a lot of people hate it. And I certainly did for a while until I actually got the hang of the game. Uh, but uh, when I finally got to play the game, you know, get more depth into the game uh, it's it's got so much better you, you get better in the game it's still a tough game though anyways uh before we take our quick eh, i mean we'll do that one we'll do that one real quick we'll do a, tw a quick test here uh so the, the the thing about this game is you play as one of the three characters and then you go and uh, kind of learn how to fight and learn different stances and things like that and i'll talk about those in a bit uh but uh, you go to a dojo and you stick with that dojo and they teach you skills that you learn. And then you, you could also do other things like that. Let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see how fast your key accumulates compared to his. You win by reducing your opponent's HP to zero. So let's do that. Let's do a quick test here. Let's see how good we do against this guy here. So let's get this here. So it's really a free roam game like this, you can see. And then uh, hitting the circle will net you a, a quick attack. Uh, square, uh, squares to kind of do a parry. Let's see if I can do a parry here. Um, oh, oh, never mind. Uh, do a quick parry. Let's see if I can. Let's see if you can actually hit me. There we go. Quick parries like that. Hit him with a combo. Uh, X is actually to. Uh, block. Let's see if I can block him here. When you get closer, you can see that block there. And on the bottom there is your stamina. So if you lose stamina, the more you block. And uh, let's see if I can switch stance here. So when I hit L1, R1, L1, I can actually switch. Not, not stance, but it's like attacks. So kind of kind of like stances. So there we go. There's my second attack. So if I go, I hit R1 here. So I'll switch my attack again. To more of a slashing attack. And I'll pick it that way. Down he goes. I finish about this. Ooh, yes, just like that. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know why. I guess the reason why people really don't like it is really clunky. You see that from there. It's a clunky, clunky game. Uh, you kind of, and this is the coolest part about this. The reason why it's really clunky is because when your character moves, he has to set his foot down before you can able to do an attack and things like that. You can't just be like jump back and then attack right away. You actually have to let his body kind of move back and then then you can attack. So it's cool like that. Uh, like I said, I, like, I want to talk about before I go back to training here because I, I, it looks like I need to train a bit to get my stats more a little, a little bit higher. Uh, I got a status here real quick. Uh, form and it teaches different forms you can use, uh, like I just did, R1, and you can see on the back of the screen here, R1, R2, L1, L2, uh, you can do that, you can switch different forms, and you can switch whatever you want, whatever form you want, uh, you can go to confirm here, and then you can pick your, your, stat, your uh, moves here, so let's see if I can, not this one, uh, there we go, so you can kind of pick up, pick whatever form you want, and you learn, as you keep going through dojos, you learn more and more moves. Uh, and each dojo has different moves, so that's, that, to me, that's the coolest part. Uh, crouch slash, crouch slash, and like I said, oh, that's all I can for that one, so. I can do a crouch slash thrust, maybe I do a crouch slash, th I, don't I don't like the slash, because I like the, the fact that you're able to hit a cross like this better than a quick thrust, because weapon he moves to the side, and then 
you'll you'll hit that you you'll miss that mark. So I, I I'll, I'll keep with the, uh, the slash here. So at the bottom here, I got these cool up slashes, cross slashes, up slash, down slash, or I do up slash storm god. Right? That's one of my newest techniques. Uh, and then we'll do a second storm god. So. Pretty cool. Anyways, that is it for that part. Um, swords. You can get different swords as you progress through the game. Uh, and each different swords has different techniques. I, I don't remember if you learn techniques by beating dojos or you get it by swords. Not 100% sure, but each sword will give you a certain type of stats. Uh, and then we also got the training here. Training is pretty cool. Striking posts uh, that creates your strength. You do the quick slashes, and I'll show you guys those in a bit. Waterfalls is kind of tough to judge on uh, because, uh, like I said, I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, bamboo Grove, Zen Meditation, the Helmet Splitting, Illusion. Uh, helmet Splitting is a little bit different. That one's tough. Uh, do not do that unless you really learn how to do Helmet Splitting because Helmet Splitting could actually destroy one of your swords. And I don't remember if you destroy the swords, if it takes a while for it to be re uh you know re if it's going to be fixed or not i'm not 100 percent sure with that so uh, anyways we'll go with striking post so it's striking post here uh you strike a post and it just gives you different combinations you have to do okay, we'll, uh, it'll, it'll pop up here in a second here so uh here we go we got uh here we go Let's see if we can get that started here. There we go. And it just gives you different combinations to do. And you can see on the bottom there, that's the health of the tree. The little bamboo tree there. Uh, just hit it down to, to the bottom there and you, you'll be good. So, uh, I think if you mess up, it loses more time or does it hit it too strong? So, uh, I, I don't remember what it does with that. I haven't messed up yet uh, the second time I did it, as you can see from the success rate up there. I think later on when you actually get further into the game you actually have to press like x and square and things like that so uh yeah it gets a little bit tougher and then of course goes up we go back to training here we go to the waterfall the waterfall is a little bit tougher like i said waterfall you have to press x and then as you keep pressing x uh, hopefully the waterfall doesn't really kill my the, how it sound <laughs> uh, you keep pressing x until your your uh your how you a little bar on the top will go over to the top, and you also have to watch out for your health. With an X or a certain circle. So, you can't, like. There you go. And it talked about, like. You wait until. You see the rush of that. Oh no, my dude's down! Oh, shucks. So yeah, so I, if I remember right, if you lose whatever you're doing, you don't get as much. If that's right, no, or you don't get anything. Anyways, that sucks. Uh, we'll do Bamboo Grove here. Bamboo Grove is pretty decent. I mean, as long as you know how to do directional buttons, directional movements for attacks, you should be good with the Bamboo Grove. Uh, let's see if we can get this going here. This is, It literally teaches you how to play. So, oops. Like, this is why this is the reason why I, I say maybe why people hate it is the controls, and you can see from there, uh, it's tough to do to use controls. Oh man, not the one I want. Nope, nope. Oh man, not good. See, like I said. Oh, that that, that was a hit for sure. For sure, that was a hit. It's not good. Not looking good already. If you get two at a time, you should be good. Come on. Ah. So for me, I always like to do this quick uh, slash attack here. Let's get this one. Ha. There we go. And there was one that you actually need to... Uh, oh, that's nice. Oh, I was hoping that for the second slash. What? I didn't get that one? Wow. Wow. Oh, man. There we go. There's this slash right here. That uh, you have to do like the backslash. Let's see, let's see, let's see what works. Nope. Never mind. I forgot what kind of slash was that. To make that, you do like a quick twirl slash. That you do. I did pretty decent here. Ah, no. 
There's, yeah, there's a quick slash that you can do that does a quick turtle slash where you kind of fling your sword upwards and swipe it around you. I do like a quick circle attack. I don't I see if I can get that one going. I can show that one off. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, that didn't work, so. Uh, I, th I don't know how much you're supposed to cut, but uh, I think you get a good amount. If you could finish that front part, I think that's pretty good enough. Uh, Zen meditation is pretty simple. Uh, you meditate and you don't let yourself fall asleep and it swings left and right and you don't let your fa yourself fall asleep. If you do, then the dude hits you in your head. So you see from there, it's going to tell me to kind of move around. Oh no, I don't want to lose too much there. So Zen meditation. Uh, let's see if we can get this go. Oh no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to fall asleep. I don't want to fall asleep. I got ten, what ten seconds left. Let's see. Uh, if you do fall asleep, maybe I'll show you that in a bit here. Uh, or try to at least pass this one. Oh, whoa! Yeah, there you go. He's gonna hit me. <coughs> Boom! Yep. <laughs> Boom! Yep. That's great old slap. So I don't get anything. That sucks. Right at the one second mark too. Shucks. Uh, oh, I do get something, I guess. Uh, attack speed and then uh, illusion is you do the quick circle attack and it'll it'll I'll, I'll just show you it'll, it'll mark you what you have to do so here you go so you hit circle right when it hits that mark circle 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 oh, oh what I know I hit that one <laughs> I know it hit that one. That's whack. There's no music in here. You see, it's all really just nice and quiet. Very soothing. Uh, you know, just you hear the birds chirping in the background, the crickets cricketing, uh, you hear dogs barking, you get, you know, people talking in the background. That's all you get. Uh, so let's get started here. We'll go back to the dojo. To the dojo. I know there is a tournament you can do. Uh, tournaments are tough. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, mostly, if you meet a guy that uh, <laughs> that uh, uses a big hammer thingy. Yeah, that's the one I want. That's a, that, that's that. Tank. There we go. Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, nice. Get him to the mark. Let's get him. Wow. So. Yeah, the tournament is tough because the thing is about this game is, let's see if we can get the tournament going, uh, if I can get to the tournament real quick. Uh, the thing about the tournament is you use real swords, and then if you die, game over. You start over. So, <laughs> that's what makes this one hard. Ooh, okay, I got no attack here. Let's see what that does. Uh, edit. Uh, we'll go down here and confirm this one here. Oh, not confirm. Practice. What do we have for draw? Nope. We'll, we'll keep going and see what that does. Nope. What is the attack? Crowd slash. Crowd slash. Oh, draw. Whoa. Okay. Decent enough. I don't need to do that. I, I just want the crowd slash. That's all I really want. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, we can also go back to training, but we don't need to. Uh, we'll go to dojo and here, and you can also go to different dojos too. Um, but I think only if after you take on the oh here here we go here's gonna be a tough one. So to be able to fight the boss, the the, the not the boss, the the master, you have to defeat all all ten characters or ten students here. Uh, so let's be careful. I know they're not all that tough. Quick slap there. Do this. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. The quick just attack and just hold still there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'd be like, back, cool like a samurai like that. So, one down. Let's see if we can get to the second one. And yeah, uh, you go go to different dojos and challenge different uh, masters. And when you challenge different masters, they give you different moves and things like that. So, uh, it becomes cool. This game is really more deep. 
cheaper than you think it is. A lot of people hate it. Like I said, a lot of people hate the controls and how slow it is. Uh, I think it's more of a methodical kind of gameplay here. Uh, I personally love. I love this game. I remember playing it as you know, back then. This is during my what middle school days. Um, I remember just playing it, and I didn't even really know how to play it. I was just kind of like, spam circle buttons, and then once you kind of learn how to play, it is, wow, it is, this is really, really awesome game. Mostly when you get your specials, and then you just bum rush them, and your specials are super strong, and you bum rush them, and some of these cool specials, like I like the one that uh, you get, that you actually do like a combo, and that one's super cool. Uh, I picked the wrong guy. I usually pick the guy that is, uh, he's quick. Uh, maybe the, I never picked this guy before, so I always kind, I always went with the quick guy. He, he, looks, he looks more like a samurai. Uh, this one looks like a uh, shogun, uh, like lieutenant. Or something. I don't know what you call him, but somebody who works under, under the shogun. Uh, the other guy looks like a wanderer. The guy that I always pick looks like a wanderer. He has long hair. He just looks like you know, a bum kind of, but uh, like long gray hair. And, but he's quick, and then this, you got this guy here, who's, I think he's a, he's balanced, so he does a good attack, a uh, good, uh, speed. Oh, I'm spamming this guy. Go down. Go down. Go down. And then, uh, there's also a tricky way, and I don't know what the, I don't remember the other guy, the other guy must, must be strength, so. Uh, one tricky way I like to do is, I think get a good hit right there. Use the uh, you run up to them and you do the dash attack and uh, you oh my gosh that's not good oh doing too much do a dash attack and then combo into this one get him down here oh thought I had him there thought I had him there I did actually have him hopefully I get to heal myself yeah a little bit okay that's good I'll match seven. I think they get tougher as they go on. So it's not. Ooh, let's get back here. Oh! Oh my gosh. There we go. Got him. Oh, what? Oh, I have Hell X. I should have known. There we go. Got him. Oh, I thought I got him. Ooh, there's a dodge there. There we go. Caught him off guard with that one. Blocked, and then it gives you a quick split second moment where you have to hit. I think that's cool. Match eight. Let's get going again. See, they're getting a little bit tougher. They're blocking a little bit more. Let's see if we can. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I want to keep it. Oh, my gosh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> oh, see, I'm getting, I'm getting hit too much. I don't want to get hit that much. This next fight, I shouldn't get hit. I try, I'll try not to get hit. Because if I do get hit, whoa, whoa, there we go. You can bring the stamina down to uh, zero, and then uh, it's a little bit easier to kill him. And then of course, if you stand back like that, your stamina really. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah. There we go. I think we get the boss next, right? Or do we fight ten? Okay, we fight straight ten. Okay. Or maybe we fight the boss after this. The, the master of the dojo. Oh no. Oh wow. There we go. Oh no no no! Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. oh no! Oh no 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 no! I'll be more careful. Ah! Uh, spam this one. Oh, there we go. Ten person down. The tenth person down. Oh, there we go. That's it. Okay. I think I get to challenge the the uh, dojo master or the master next. Uh, I think so. Hopefully I do. Uh, stats up. Stats up. Chrysalis. I I can't even read that. So uh, let's go to practice. Let's see what we have here. We have nope. 
Uh, uh, it's usually the end one. Oh, a quick circle attack. Huh? Uh, no, let's not do that. I don't like the circle attack. I'm afraid that if I do that circle attack, yeah, it's not gonna not gonna work. Not gonna work that great. Uh, test. License test. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is your final test. If you beat the uh, disciple, your master will award you with an excellent sword. With it, you will be able to use secret techniques. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can beat the guy. Uh, Kotaro. Kotaro, huh? Don't get too much damage on him. Oh, caught him. That's pretty cool. Oh no! Out of stamina. I can't block. I gotta move back. I gotta move back. I gotta, I gotta move back. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, that. Oh, he's faking me out too. Uh oh, not good. Let's see if I can get him. Tough fight, tough fight. Oh no! He got me, he got me. Oh, okay. No! I had him! Failure! Oh. I had him. I had him. Okay. Uh, let's try it one more time. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're at day 22. Get our license test. Let's go. Get our license test. We should be stronger now. Uh, because... Oh, just because we lost there. Uh, I need to stop doing the triple attacks. So we can recover our stamina here for block. Oh, oh, I had him! Uh, I had him too. Oh my god. There we go. Let him bring you to us. We're gonna do. My always favorite techniques of just defense. We'll bring him to us. Oh, I don't want to go for the kill yet. I'm afraid. Oh, here, got, got him, got him, got him. Yeah. There you go. Pony up that sword. Pony up that sword. Pony up that sword. I wonder. Do I fight the the? Storm got sec. Cool. Oh, you got the Masamune. Cool, cool. Uh, stab is here. Sword. Yes, yeah, it gives us a secret technique called Storm God. Uh, that's pretty cool. So, defeat Dojo. Oh, yeah, see, here we go. See? Now we can go and defeat other dojos, but I'm guessing this video has gone a little bit too long, about to almost 25 minutes. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, you know, quick, uh, good old days with me, uh, with uh, uh, Kengo, because I personally really enjoyed this game. You can see from just the way I'm playing. I like that one-on-one -on -one battles. Uh, I like the fact that it's a little bit more slower pace. You know, you get you have to think a little bit more on your feet. Uh, you can't always just start spamming your attacks. I love that. I love the fact that you could, uh, you know, buff up your character. You do different trainings to get them stronger. Like you have training here. Helmet splitting. That's the one you want to avoid. <laughs> like, because if you do that, your sword is going to split. Uh, it could break and then you lose your sword and it would suck mostly when you have to go to a tournament. I wish I could do a tournament look at this because uh, tournaments are pretty cool. Tournaments are real swords. Like I say, you got your dude can die. You get sliced in the neck, sliced in the hands. You start bleeding out as you're fighting. Uh, you go through rounds again uh, and then you always get to this big buff guy who has his big log as a weapon and he hits you once and you're almost dead. 
And <laughs> it, it, it's a tough, it's a tough tournament. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys come back next time for some more of the good old days. And of course, don't forget to hit the like button if you guys like my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys like my channel. And hopefully, I get some more videos going here. So, anyways, this is Omega Belmont, and I'll see everybody next time. Peace out.